Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Urgot Gaming. As you can see, we're Masters 16 LP. And this is actually pretty cool. We're up against the new reworked Skarner, so this will be pretty interesting. I haven't faced him yet. Looks like he's running Presence of Mind and Alacrity Secondary. If you guys are curious, here's my rune page. We're just going Standard Fleet, Conditioning, Overrow, Scaling HP. I like to just go full scaling versus tanks. Because you can't really kill tanks even if you go an aggressive setup on Urgot, at least early game. You're kind of waiting until you get your Black Cleaver spike. But yeah, let's see how this lane goes. I'm excited to see the new Skarner. Oh my god, he looks menacing. Holy moly, he looks scarier than I do. If I were running my battle cast skin. I wonder if his hitbox is bigger than mine. It kind of looks like it, but it might just be the skin. Man, he's got triple stinger of death now. That's crazy. But yeah, Fleet's really nice in these tank matchups because it offers you sustain and movement speed. And like I said, if you go PT, it's just so hard to kill them early. So you might as well take Fleet and just scale into the game. Um, I've been doing this versus every tank matchup. And also for some range matchups. I do like PTA still when I have a lane that I can actually kill early. But yeah, I'm going to treat this like any other tank matchup and just play for the early callback. So you kind of just push normally on the first wave and then hard push second wave. It kind of depends on how they're pushing. Which this guy's actually wave clearing quite a bit. But we should be able to get the call back here. It's a good time to recall with uh, jungle being up here anyway. Enemy jungle pathing into me. But yeah, wow, they did a really good job on the visual on Skarner. I gotta say, that looks sick. Definitely looks much more scary. His icon kind of looks like a... Almost like a Cho'Gath Scion mix. But yeah, if you guys are wondering about Skarner's kit, his Q, I'll try to explain it really quick. Um, I forget his passive. I think it, like, upgrades his auto attacks whenever he uses abilities. Um, his Q upgrades his next three auto attacks, or he can throw a boulder. If he does the three autos, then he can't throw the boulder. But if he does, like, one or two, then he can throw the boulder. And that boulder does percent max HP damage. So that thing is actually really strong. So right there, as you can see, he just picked up the boulder, and then he threw it at me. So he can choose whether to basically auto attack with those three autos or throw that boulder. And yeah, the boulder also does percent max HP damage. So it's really good poke. Ooh, got a fling at the tower here. This could be pretty good. There's his E, by the way. All right, nice. Got him. Down he goes. I think we got two tower shots on him there. Maybe one. Yeah, if he crashes you into the wall with that E, I think it does bonus damage and then also stuns you. And he can also run through walls with that. So it's basically like a Scion ulti. Except less damage. And he can go through walls. Which is really crazy if you play jungle. I think Skarner jungle is going to be insane. I think the ganks will be pretty insane. Oh yeah, that does stun you. I got the deer here, so we should be good. Nice, I'm glad she got the kill. I don't need too much gold in this land. But yeah, his W is a shield that also slows, and it has a really big radius as well. Um, I think it's like a 600 to 700 radius. So his W looks pretty good. All of his abilities look pretty good to me. Um, his ulti, he like has a little wind-up time. And then he can pull three people now. So he, I tested out in practice tool. He can't flash during that wind-up. He is CC'd. And I also don't know if you can e-buffer on Urgot. I'll try to figure that out. Maybe I'll hop into practice tool after the game. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can e-buffer his ulti or if you can, like, e into his e. I'm not really sure how that works. 
but maybe we'll find out just kind of figuring out this lane as it gives. Really cool to play against something new though, man. Definitely the visual, they did a really good job. Try to dodge out his Q. It's kind of hard to dodge though. It's got a pretty big radius. I have D-Blade and Cole, so I don't mind taking some damage to hold the wave here. Get a little shield with my E. I probably should have saved my E. Oh, wow. He can actually just get away with that, too. Yeah, so every 0.25 seconds, he gets more movement speed when he uses that E. So he starts off at, like, 150, and it goes up to, I think, 900. So you get a ton of movement speed. It's like a Ramus Q. Ooh, he died. I'm going to try to snipe here. Oh, got him. Nice, dude. That's a headshot. Into the grindy. All right, cool. Second kill to land. That play would have been really bad if we didn't get the snipe. I wanted to help out the Yoni, but I felt like... I just felt like he was too far. And I'm pretty slow on Urgot. This wave should crash in a tower. That's all I want here. Then we can just back. Spend our gold. Page plus double longsword is really nice. I have a lot of damage for my level 9. We're just scaling up the rune page. Team's doing pretty good, too. I, ha I think I've had a few losses since the Darius game that you guys saw. I played against, like, a Varus top lane and I think, like, Cassiopeia, Olaf. I've had some really brutal matchups. Cassiopeia and Varus are, like, impossible for me right now. Let's just go for a nice little trade here. He does have the wave advantage. But I do have pretty good sustain. You can do more trades like this with Fleet. Oh man, I don't know if I should greed this. I could try to bait him. I have my grinder coming up soon. This is really greedy though. That shield on his W is actually pretty tiny. Oh god, Karthus is here. Oh no. Oh, the ulti went through him. That looked kind of weird. Dang, I think that would have been a trade kill with the uh, tower on him there. I think my grinder would have slowed him enough. This death, death recap looks so troll. Like 200 damage. Okay, yeah, really greedy by me. My bad. I should have just recalled right after the Karthus ulti there. But yeah, that was weird with the ulti. The only thing, the thing that could have happened there, I would need to see the replay, but I think it's similar to like when you are and then you flash on Urgot. When you are and then you flash, your, your ulti shoots from where you flashed from. So I think because he kind of knocked me back, but I think my R casted from where he, like, first hit me. Like, before he knocked me back. But it definitely looked pretty weird. I don't know if that's for sure what happened. Oh yeah, that's his W there. The slow's actually pretty good on that. So yeah, his W is the shield plus slow, Q's empowered auto attacks or the boulder toss. And then E's like the scion charge. Okay, that seems pretty good. I just have to make sure. Oh, there's the Paul. I was just going to say I have to make sure he doesn't pull me into tower. Wow, okay, I cannot survive that. Dang, he is actually really strong. That was two tower shots, though. His Q did a lot, man. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If he uses Q and then pulls you with ulti... Also, I can TP behind him here. This should be a kill. He's kind of overstaying. 
Nice, we get the kill. That's huge. I'll get my I'll get my level nine on this wave as well, so we're gonna be power spiking pretty soon. Well, definitely power spiking with level nine, but really power spiking once I get cleaver. I do believe he has teleport here. Pretty sure. But yeah, if he uses that Q1 and then he ulties, it actually consumes the Q2. Like that 15% 15 per, 15 max HP damage, he actually gets that on his ulti from his Q. If he uses the first part before he ulties. Yeah, I gotta say, it is pretty hard to dodge that boulder. There we go. It does have a pretty fast missile speed, though. I think if I just play off my grinder cooldown, we should be good. He does have a level on me right now. But I think I can still kill him with grinder. My level 9 is so strong. To where even though he has a level... Uh, like a level advantage... Ooh, so close. Oh, nice. He didn't get the stun. He didn't push me all the way into the wall there. So that actually ended pretty quick. I wonder if he ended that early. Because I feel like he could have maybe pushed me into the wall. Not entirely sure. Either way, let's get some plates here. We got six grubs so we can shred this tower. This is feeling pretty good though. I feel like his early game is a little bit weak. But I feel like I feel like you have to be really close playing near or really careful playing like closely to his tower. It's kind of like a Kesanti 2.0 is what I feel like. Cuz he can push you in with E and then pull you or pull you first and then you push you in with E even further. Nice cleaver and a pickaxe. Also going Merc Treads this game just because they have a lot of AP and a little bit of CC as well. But Kali's getting pretty fed. Lucian's not doing too good. So that also makes me kind of want to get Merc Treads. If we just wait for the grinder and she goes around, we can probably get him here. That slow on his key is pretty good too, actually. Hopefully she uses her sleep thingy. Oh my god. I woke him up with a grinder. That's brutal, man. Looks like Krugs are down. Let's get some vision. Red buff is spawning pretty soon. I'll get this wave and then probably try to steal their red away. Yeah, it's really crazy though. His ulti can uh, get three people at once now. So if he gets a three-man ulti, I feel like that could definitely win a team fight. I did read that he can't be displacement immune during his ulti. So I definitely don't think your E would fling him. It won't fling him, but I think it will stun him. I think it's going to work the same way that it does on, like, Orn W. With Orn W, you, you still get the stun, but you just don't get the fling. It kind of looks like this Karthus might be going for his red, so let's see, see if we can do something kind of cheeky here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right into the face check. Get some gold on the Yoni going. Oh, Skarner's here too. Okay, we can fight this. We can try at least. Yenny's kind of chunked. Oh, nice. I actually got the E on Lucian there. I wasn't sure if that would go around the Skarner. He's gonna W toggle the Nami down. I have red buff and cleaver, so I'm very spiked right now. Man, this guy's tanky. Oh, that's his E. 
dang, my shotgun didn't go off. I tried to flash. I literally just tried to flash for shotgun damage. Is he in the bush? Maybe he's in this bush. Oh, nice. Good ulti, dude. Very nice. Alright, cool. We get some gold off the pike thingy, too. I'm going to go for Holbreaker second, since we're kind of fed right now. And I feel like Skarner can't really deal with my split push very well. So I think we'll get a lot of value out of Holbreaker. One thing I've been doing is I've been going Stairax second sometimes, if I'm versus, like, a lot of burst. Or if I'm just, like, not as fed. But if I get fed, I really like Holbreaker second. I've been liking that lately, anyway. Oh, I have the true sight from the uh, tower here. This could be a kill. Nice. I have a lot of movement speed from Fleet. Fleet plus Cleaver plus 5% from Hullbreaker. Really helps with that sticking power. Honestly, I'm going to go for a teleport top here because I don't want him to get the objective bounty. And I also feel like with my team pressuring bot right now, it's good to try to get this top tower if I can. Wow, he gets really fast on that, man. That's crazy. That really is like a Ramus Q. I might even... I think it does get faster than Ramus Q at like full, full charge. Nice, I'll get my coal cash in. That's going to help us get the third item quicker. Level 13 is where you're really good versus tanks because your shotgun is only 2.5 second recharge time. And your your passive shotguns is what's doing the big damage. Well, I got to be careful here. I think he... Does he still have ulti? I feel like he would have ulted there. Yeah, I'm definitely learning that you have to be really careful near his towers. Really good nuke on that, Kali. Oh, wow, my Q almost killed her there. Well played by the Pike. Can you get the Lucian, too? He still has ulti. This pike is really good. Ah, oh, nice try. That was close. Very close. Alright, well, we got the pike gold, so we got three item spike at 19 minutes, which is absolutely crazy on Ergot. I love this three item spike on Ergot team, man. Like, these three items are just. Like, this should be your core build. Pretty much every game. I think some games you can skip out on Hullbreaker. I think if you want to just be frontline for your team, then you can definitely skip out on Hullbreaker. But I think if you're fed, Cleaver, Hullbreaker, Starex is just such a nice three item spike on Ergot. Really nice how my Q one shots the uh, mages right now, too. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the uh, Skarner rework, though. Like, in terms of visual and gameplay, I'm curious what you guys think. I feel like visually they did an insanely good job. Gameplay-wise, I'm not really sure. It's only my first game against him, and I haven't played him myself. I might try to do a few games on him. I don't know if I'll upload them. But he actually does look pretty fun. Oh, almost got him with that E. I guess he was in his E charge. But look at my shotguns, man. They're doing so much damage. The thing that's nice when you have this fleet build is you can just kind of take these little trades and then heal back up. Because you also get full healing with the fleet on jungle camps. So, like, doing that Gromp just healed me, like, 200 HP. So, I can kind of play near tower and just take these little trades. And this is just so hard to play against, man. Like, a three-item Urgot is so hard to play against here. 
And there it is. We chunk him out slowly and then just go for the grinder. Don't even have to use my E flash. Or don't even have to use my flash. I did have to use my E. But yeah, Ergot does pretty good. If you run this setup, I think he does really good against tanks. It's just lane phase is the hard part. But Skarner does feel a little bit easier compared to like Orn or Malphite for me. Gonna try to go for the Nami here. Take her out with a shotgun real quick. Ooh, she flashed. That was close. Oh my god, there's a wild Skarner. Holy moly, there's a three-man Paul. That's the first three-man Paul I've seen. Oh my god, I landed that. Dude, the snipes are so on point this game, actually. Alright, let's get Jack Show, TP back. And I think we can honestly just go for the end here. Just gonna panic by a brutalizer because I think we end. Just wanna spend as much gold as I can. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna kill me. Yeah, honestly, dude, that's Skarner's game plan. He just tries to pull you into tower. That's kind of how the old Skarner was top lane, too. He would try to pull you under tower and then stun you with E. But now it's, like, way easier for him to pull because he has the E and the ulti. So, yeah, that's definitely... You got to be really careful of that. But yeah, 21 LP. That puts us to 37, and we get an S plus for that game. Super nice. Oh, my gosh. 35k damage. That's pretty good. A little bit less than the Darius game, but 35k damage in a 23 minute game is actually insane. We also had the most CC score there too. Pretty good heals on the fleet, 5.2k. Pretty good tower damage as usual. But yeah, that's going to be the game versus Skarner guys. Let me know what you think of them. And if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and drop a like. It does help out a lot. And I'm actually probably going to do a round two. So I'll probably add a game onto this. So I'll see you guys back for round two. Alrighty, guys. We are back with round two. This time up against Gnar. And the Gnar that we're against is actually an ex-pro player. I think he used to be on Cloud9. Very old school player. I actually haven't seen his name in a long time, so it's kind of kind of cool to see. Maybe some of you guys might recognize him. Um, I did lose a game after the Skarner game, so I played the Skarner game, and then we had a game versus Darius where I lost. Oh, he's poking me down. I was gonna try to. I thought he was in the end bush. I was gonna try to do the old wrap around, but he. I wonder if he saw me go in the alcove. Getting a lot harder to go for these kind of... I don't want to say cheese because it's part of the game to go for the level 1. But it's getting a lot harder to go for the level 1 on people. Nice first blood on the Draven already. Our bot lane is both like 300 LP masters, so... Bot lane should do pretty good. Okay, I'm kind of glad he actually E'd there. I need to be more chill with my E in this lane. Nar's actually a really hard lane for Urgot early on. Um, I will say, it, it's really hard to kill him. You can still survive, especially if you go fleet. And if you really struggle with this lane, I do recommend going second win. Um, personally, I like conditioning a little bit more just because I like to be greedy. I'm okay with kind of losing the early lane a little bit to get those free stats off conditioning. I think conditioning just helps out so much later on. Just going to be patient here. Let the wave push in. He's playing the early lane really good. 
Nar is definitely also one of those harder lanes to kind of get an early lead on. Any range matchup is like that, pretty much. Yes, Urgot's also range, but you are short range on Urgot, so you kind of get outranged by other range champs. Also, we have a Darius jungle. I honestly, I don't think I don't I don't think I've ever seen Darius jungle. Maybe like once. That'll be interesting to see how that does. Nice. He was getting greedy there. That Q was really good to kill that mage minion there as well. I'm going to make sure that I recall in XP range. And then we'll definitely go early call. Oh, dang. I was hoping I'd have enough for refill. Let's go 1 HP. I really don't like buying HPs. It's so much nicer if you can buy refill. Let my jungle know that he still has flash. My jungle says not really focusing watching LCK. Meanwhile, I'm versing like a freaking X pro player. This guy played the early lane really good though. Definitely one of the better Nars I've faced. Whenever people run bone plating like this, make sure that you're... Oh, if you're ever going to E in, make sure you poke off that bone plating. I don't want to try for an E right now because he's running towards river. So that might mean that his jungle is nearby. If I E in and then his jungle pops out, then I just die. Yeah, he was trying to bait me. Sadly, I still die anyway. Dang. I'm actually kind of surprised I died there. I guess he was in Mega Nar. If he was in many, they definitely don't kill me. Pretty good buy though. Cloth plus refill is going to make this lane a little bit easier. I might end up going for Tabbies. It's also a really good Swifty game. I think Swifties are really good versus Nar, but they're a little bit ego. I think since we're versus a really good player, I might just go Tabbies. Yeah, Swifties are really good because they have the slow with Kha'Zix W and also Karmic U. They do have a lot of slows, which is nice. But Tabbies are also kind of the counter versus Nar because he's pretty much only auto attacks and then his Q. It's always nice to get those shotgun procs if you can, just on a little trade like that. Pretty good trade. Also, a fruit probably just spawned. Yeah, nice. Usually, the fruit spawns between like 610 and like 640. I'm also going to grab a quick little fleet heal on the uh, void grubs here. Wow, he's eating away from me. That's actually kind of surprising when he's in Mega. He gets a lot of free stats in Mega, so you really don't want to fight when he's in Mega. Just go for a quick little trade. This is actually a little bit greedy by me. Need to be careful with these E's. Sometimes against Nar, you can try to go in like right when their Mega is about to drop. Sometimes they play overconfident. But I don't think he's going to do that. Man, he gets so much movement speed from his W. I'm going to have to go this way because if I run through my lane, he's going to E bounce off the minions and just run me down. So we got to play this pretty safe here. Oh my gosh, rip cannon. Dang it. I need those cannons, man. An ally has been slain. 
Wow, and he gets a free kill, too. I feel like invading is so risky against Kha'Zix anyway, because he gets a isolation boost damage. Trying to use my W here just for call heals plus D bled. It's one thing I've really been trying to do a lot more of is just use my W just for healing. Especially in these poke heavy lens. I'm hoping we can go in after his mega drops off, which is gonna be a while. I wanna say his mega lasts around 12 seconds. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's somewhere around there. Ooh, good buffer on his ulti there. That was really close. I'm gonna wait till Darius pulls to use my grinder. Holy moly, I had to flash. I thought he was gonna kill. Okay, nice. That kill helps me out a lot though. I wasn't sure if his boomerang was gonna fly back to him. I guess it already I guess it already already did. I thought it was gonna like fly back to where I was pulling him to. Yeah, let's go Tabbies. I'm not going to Ego against this guy. He's playing the lane really good, so let's just play it safe. Bot lane's doing good. Mid's doing good. Jungle's chilling. Their jungle's 300 LP, Masters. Yeah, both of our bot laners are 300 LP. I've noticed in these master games, when you get like really high LP bot lanes, it's just so nice, man. In these games with Urgot, I can play a little bit more frontline and play a little bit safer. So again, really trying to use this W when I can just to heal up as much as possible. At level 8, it's only 10 mana. Every time you level W, it goes down 10 mana. So don't be afraid to spam it. Every single W, you're getting the three healing off coal, and then you're also getting some healing off the D Blade lifesteal. Everything adds up on Urgot because you really don't have that much sustain. And you're also building fleet, too. Let's go Q into Grinder. Holy moly, living with an absolute sliver of HP right there. All right, nice. I think that was a solo kill. I'm not sure if Darius got an assist there, but he was there for the moral support. Here goes Darius with the, with the invade again, man. He died in the exact same spot as last time. That guy really is watching LCK, man, in a freaking Masters game. That's crazy. Nice, he got his cash in. 430 extra gold. I like how the axe goes back to his dead body. I always kind of thought the axe just disappeared if he died, but I guess it actually does return to the body. Dragon is up right now, so I'd be kind of surprised if Kha'Zix played topside. Both jungles are probably going to be playing for that. Oh wow, the Kha'Zix actually is up here. Okay, I'm going to try to thin down this wave and try to heal up a little bit. Can I nuke the Kha'Zix? Nope. It was close. I should have used my E better. Definitely not having the best ease in this lane, but man, it's hard against Nar. It really is. This is the thing that I'm struggling with the most since I got to Masters, is like, just when to use my E on Urgot. Which sounds really weird, but it's actually like, it's really hard to know when to use it. I feel like I need to hold on to it more and use it more to like, buffer. I'm gonna hold TP here since it's only a few mages. We'll try to help out the team pretty soon. Could also TP on this, but I don't really want to.
gonna lose out on a lot of CS if I TP, so it's probably not even not even worth. I also don't know if that's a guaranteed kill. I'd have to land the snipe. So now that we're level nine plus, plus we have a level on him right now, level 10 actually, we can kind of stand our ground a little bit more. Just go for these Q into W trades. Just getting a ton of heals off the D blade and call and fleet. Yeah, Nars a lane where I really like fleet also, by the way. Because he's like a mix of ranged and tank, so it's really nice against him. Might be able to get him with a grinder. He healed up with fleet, so I actually don't think he's low enough to snipe, but maybe my team will get him. Are they going to kill him? It's looking pretty close. I'm just going to go for tower damage. Really important when you have fleet, by the way. Try to always be moving when you're doing that 3W auto attack on the tower. Because then you're also building up fleet stacks. And the reason you do that 3W auto attack is it's just more DPS. You get like 30% more damage. Could go for the uh, Rift Herald here. Nar's going to clear that wave and then probably rotate. I'm a lot stronger than Nar is right now, though. Oh, we could go for the fight here, too. Oh, nice. I actually landed that. That was kind of a weird angle with the like river elevation. I got rid of the blast gun. Super nice Diana ulti. Nice. That plays massive for us. Not only winning fight, but we also get the Rift Herald, which should be pretty good. They don't need me for that, so let's just maximize their time, try to be efficient. Get some CS going. I can maybe cash in my call before backing. Oh, it's 7 CS on the call. That means I need two waves. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but I feel like definitely more than 50% of my games, I end up with like one CS on my call. Like I need one more CS to cash it in, but I can't go for the wave. I actually missed a CS there, so it's going to be two this game. But yeah, it's actually crazy how much I end up at just one CS. Can I do pickaxe? Ooh, that's kind of awkward. I can almost do that plus pickaxe. That would be nice. I guess we'll just do this. We want to spend as much gold as we can right now. Usually when I'm buying into Hullbreaker, I do like to try to get the pickaxe first just because it doesn't have any components. So it's nice to get that out of the way while you have the gold. But in this case, it's a little bit different because it, I would be sitting on like 500 gold. So in this case, I want to spend as much gold as possible. There's our coal cash in. Yeah, so when you cash in that coal, you get all your gold back, and then eventually you sell it for 180. So you make a 180 gold profit. But the reason I really like coal is just because it offers you a little bit of sustain on Ergot. A pretty decent amount of sustain, honestly. Just because you proc it so much and so fast with W. Are we gonna Goon Squad the Kaisa? I think she's. Yeah, I think she's alone. Oh, she flashed the ulti. What happens if I try to charge this into her? Oh my god, I'm running her down. That actually does pretty good damage and a little knock-up, too. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I've never really charged that into somebody, to be honest. That honestly did more damage than I expected. Wait. 
Wait a minute, did he miss the charge? How's that even possible? This guy should have had me as the driver. Okay, he got that one at least. This Nar's not even back, and we're going to end the game here. All right, cool. I guess we get a win a little bit earlier than I expected, but I'll gladly take it. Okay, the Nar actually did back. Maybe they'll save it. Two seconds on the grinder. Nice, got it. My grinders have been pretty good, man. I feel like I've been improving with my aim. Nice, GG. All right, another win in Masters, guys. We're holding on. We haven't been demoted yet. It's actually really nice. Gonna really try for Grandmasters. I think Grandmasters is about... I need to double check, but I think it's about 400 LP right now. And that puts us to 36. We get an S- minus for that one. I'll take it, man. That early lane was actually really hard. Yeah, against Nar, you just want to be... You just want to try to not get poked down too much and, like, stay behind your minion wave. Because when his Q goes through minions, it does less damage. Like, the more targets that it hits. And try to not let him get the W procs too much. Like, every three autos or whenever he Qs, he gets a W proc. So, try not to get the... Try to not let him get that third proc too often. But yeah, there it is. 7, 2, and 1. 2.5k fleet heals. Pretty solid game, honestly. That was a really funny Shelly play at the end. I've never... I think I've charged that into somebody, like, once. But, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that. I don't know what my team is typing about. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, drop a like if you want to. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.